Good morning. Today we are heading to the draft downtown. I worked yesterday, so I didn't get to really enjoy the actual festivities. Downtown Detroit right now for NFL draft party at District 78. I'm gonna show you guys what downtown Detroit looks like right now. I feel like I keep showing you guys my fingernails. This one, you guys, it doesn't look good. It doesn't look good. It's like I didn't like shave it down on the sides. It's too big for my finger. So I'm gonna like not let people look too close at my fingernails. But anyways, um, yeah, I'll see you guys downtown. There'll be a lot longer line. I'm super excited because today's way nicer than yesterday was and I get to actually enjoy today but we do have a pretty long day so I'm gonna be going down there doing interviews for a couple of our clients and then I do have a showing at a house at 4 p.m. so I will be leaving to go do the showing and then I might possibly end up going back downtown just kind of depends on where the day takes me um, but I figured I would bring you guys along or the draft this is so exciting and I think they said that yesterday was the biggest turnout for any NFL draft ever before so I just love how we're representing Detroit it's good vibes I'm so excited let's go okay so we are heading to go to the interviews for our client right now waiting for the girls to jump in the truck so we can all go to like where the madness is at to go do the interviews <laughs> so they got some snacks. I'm hungry. I have not eaten since I, before I went to work yesterday, around like four. Hey. Good. How are you? Shadia coming in clutch with the snacks. Yeah. <laughs> what do we got? A pure protein chocolate peanut butter bar. Yeah, when double olive 90 uh, 2000 2001 2002 just the blurriest camera screen. i'm sure because they worked down the street so we go there after work all the time that's so funny yes and i was if i wasn't working i was there right. this is robert courtney reporting live from downtown detroit nfl draft day two we're going to get some interviews for murray's and some great rca content well, you guys ready coming to the um, what member do you want to see Gonna be interviewed. Do you know that this company?
order like a Gatorade or something. I told them I'm getting a real drink. Now they all want to copy me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I have never, ever heard her be the first person to say she wanted a real drink. Yeah, it I don't really drink first. that much. But it's NFL draft, so That's yellow. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that relish. We got the food. The hamburger and the cheeseburger. What? is apparently like a sports agent. I think it was like LeBron's. I don't remember who's it was. Rob said it. I'll insert a clip here. Rob, did you know that brand? Yeah, that's Rich Paul's brand, Clutch Sports. Rich Paul is um, probably one of the most successful sports agents in basketball. And so he does, he's the agent for LeBron James um, and several other great basketball players. So. That's his brand. Um, it's his clothing brand out here in Detroit. And um, but now we're going to go back to Corktown because I have to meet up with Tyra and Nicole to do some interviews for our podcast. Then we have to shoot home because we have our showing at 4 p.m. today. So And then I might come back out tonight. I'm not quite sure. We'll see. Have you been Ubering all weekend? Uh, yeah. Yeah? You've been super busy? It's really, yeah, yesterday was crazy. Yeah, man. <laughs> What's the craziest thing that happened? Uh, nothing really. Oh, behaving. Yeah, yeah, people were behaving? Go, That's awesome. <laughs> that makes me happy to hear. Alright, we made it back to the tent in Court Town. Hi, how are you? Congratulations. Thank you. I just saw you yesterday. Wait, did I see you yesterday? No, I saw you the other day. So I think we're chicken out on doing the interviews for the RPR. We left the mic in the car and so we're just gonna hang out until I gotta go to my show. Some lady just gave Tyra some body butter. She couldn't say no to him when they tried stopping her. Oh yeah. Tyra. Tyra can't tell people no. I can't. Yeah, it's cute. Hi. Um, then we could just combine, combine all of our videos like we did. Even though we're doing the freedom, we're trying to get free from our side. Yeah, I think it's really good. Yeah, it's really good. I know, we didn't mean to. We didn't mean to. Hey! I'm not used to this yet. What? All the, all, the video, I'm like, I'm just always in my own world. I have to get used to it because I don't 
the meat of the menu. I don't even pay attention anymore. The food is We got chicken and waffles, but I got them outside. Yeah, we did interviews like over by where everybody was walking, like by the river. Um, so I'm like, I'm kind of like, you know, my social battery is kind of like died down. Yeah. Yeah. I just had one. Did you? Why would you not get what you want? Okay, just left them at Bad Cat Bonnie's. Now I gotta go to buy a car so we can go to the showing. It's like three o'clock right now. So I will see you guys once I get to the house and we'll tour it together. Okay, we're heading to the showing right now. Um, it says right now that I'm gonna arrive 20 minutes early and I don't like arriving 20 minutes early because especially with houses that have a ton of showings, you're not gonna be able to get in until your exact showing time. So, but I just need to like burn some, some minutes or some time before I get there. I don't know really what to do because if I go to my parents' house, it won't be enough time to do that. So I don't know what I'm gonna do, but stay tuned for the house tour. So I just pulled into Zorba's parking lot to burn some time because I don't wanna sit out front of the house for 20 minutes. So I'm gonna chill here for a little bit and then that's how I'm gonna burn my time. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna go back down to the draft tonight. I'm really tired from work last night and I woke up pretty early today to get down there to do interviews. Plus, a lot of my friends aren't going to be going down there. They kind of all had their fun last night while I was working, which kind of sucks. Um, and I have to work again tomorrow, so I don't know if it makes sense to go back down there. Um, but I'll show you guys the house, and then I'll probably close out the vlog because I want to edit this to, um, on Sunday. I'm going to edit it on Sunday because I have to work tomorrow, and then I'll get it up by, like, Sunday night or Sunday afternoon. So, waited. So thank you guys for watching this vlog. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.